I was the first American officer to set foot in Japan. I, I was sent in with, with this group of Marines when we were at the Yokosuka Naval Base, and we were just, my orders were just to remain on the dock, and they were, of course, the more senior officers, the admirals, were waiting to see what would happen, that in case there was some treachery. I guess I was, I was a junior and expendable. <laughs> the Japanese admirals came down and bowed low and presented me with their swords. And I said, oh, keep your swords, wait for the admirals. <laughs> well, that sort of, you know, put, set them off. They obviously had sent these admirals who, who spoke good English and, and obviously British English because the next thing one of them said was, well, well, while we wait, won't you come up to the officers' club for a spot of tea? So then I went back again. And then, of course, lots of American uh, officers. There was a great ferrying of uh, sure, after that. I, I was sort of the, the guinea pig, you might say. And, and it wasn't very long before uh, uh, senior officers, including some American admirals, did come ashore. And they probably have the swords for souvenirs. And, and maybe they had a spot of tea, too. <laughs>